In Psalms, it says this, 127 verse 2. For he gives to his beloved sleep. What a wonderful thing it is to be able to lie down at night, to close your eyes, and to be at peace and to feel the comfort not only of the bed and the sheets and the comforter, but also the great comforter, God. And to know that everything is all right. See, as human beings, we develop a habit of worry over time. We're prone to worry in human mind. We have many fears. Fears about tomorrow. Anxiety about the outcome of some situation. Daily vexations that come. Instead of releasing our worries to God, human mind likes to wrestle with them throughout the day and sadly throughout the night, causing our sleep to be disturbed. And then we awaken in the morning where we really haven't slept, we're, we're weary going into a new day. Instead, let us relax into the care and keeping of God. God's loving care is always at work. And let us let God be in charge of all that concerns us. And when we do, when we practice this on a daily basis, we're ready for a wonderful new day. We sleep in a restful way, and we awaken refreshed. It has been said that everything looks better in the morning. Well, how true. After a good night's sleep, we can often say that everything is brand new, that God has shown us the way. And many times in sleep, you will be given the way. So often we can't receive the guidance from God because we're all locked up. But when we finally relax, we're open to a higher thinking and a higher wisdom. A good night's sleep can often pave the way for clear solutions. As we hold to words of truth, we send messages of relaxation to all parts of the body, not just the mind. And when we hold to God, our sleep renews and restores us. Let us make mental pictures of awakening with vim and vigor, and mental pictures of us being eager to meet the day's challenges and opportunities. And as we hold to that, we hold to God, because God will make that come to pass.